So that's the one that we want right there at 150. And another one we want right there. Is that a melanistic mouflon? I found a really good spot for some giant mouflon and some huge red deer stags. But before we go over there, we got to clear some hunting pressure. So we're going to head to the first spot here and see if we can't take down a bunch of wild boar and some red deer. Or better yet, why don't we take down some of these Basidi Ibex out here at about 250 yards out. We have the 300 Magnum. And that should definitely do the trick to take down a couple of these. All we need is flesh hits basically to take them down. So that's why we're using the 300 Magnum. So we can kind of take down as many as we can and clear a bunch of this hunting pressure. Well, we're actually causing a bunch of hunting pressure, but we're trying to clear it up in some other spots. So that'll take down that one there. And we already have quite a few down just from that little bit right there. We should probably have a tripod here, but for now, this is fine. Well, that should definitely help clear up some of this hunting pressure here. Let's go over here and start picking some of these up. I think we got about six or seven Basidi Ibex down, which should help out quite a bit with money and clearing the hunting pressure in the spot that we want to go to next. So that meal alone, we ended up with 750 cash. And the rest of these here, I'm not really going to show you all of them because there's so many. I just want to pick them up and kind of show you the concept of uh, what we're doing here. Making money and clearing hunting pressure. That's it. But we got another one down there. That was actually a pretty big male. Another one down there. That's a female. And another one down there. Another female. I think that makes about six. But I'm pretty sure we got at least three or four more over here. Well, those are not Basidi Ibex. But they are Mouflon. And I don't think we're going to take any down. I don't see any giants. But kind of cool to see them out there bedded though, you know. That's a giant. That's an absolute giant. A 150 to 177 on the score on that thing. We definitely want to try and get that one. Pay attention to him. Look at the size of the horns on him. Holy. That is an absolute giant move on. Man, I don't think he's quite down potential, but he is absolutely huge. We don't really have a shot, though. Well, there he is right there walking at about 160. But if you look right there, they're actually bedded right there. So there's a pretty good chance that this giant ram is actually going to bed right there next to them. And if he does, we should be able to... Oh, hold up, hold up. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? I do not want to spook him at this point. And just like that, he just bedded down 180 yards away from us. And it's not really a good shot because he's quartering away completely from us. And we do not have a shot. But what we might do is actually we might spot and stalk this thing he's huge we have the bow and we have a perfect wind so if we play the wind we should be able to get close enough to take the shot with the bow if we can't get close enough and if we just get a broadside shot i'll definitely take him with a 6.5 come on do not go over that hill please do not go over that hill as we're getting closer the wind is actually shifting and he might sense us here any second now so we better be ready it's our chance Oh man, I think we smoked him for a second because the 6.5 is so loud. I thought we accidentally used a 300 Magnum and I would have been sick to my stomach if that happened. But we definitely used a 6.5 and I think we made an incredible shot as he was quartering away at about 150. And I think we got a nice vital hit. He got a little bit anxious and he started to get up. But look right there. That you can already see is definitely a vital hit. Yes. That is a massive ram, and in fact, I see him piled up right over there. Let's go take a look at this huge mouflon. He tried to outsmart us, but it didn't work. Here he is piled up here, and that is going to look awesome in our trophy lodge. I think we'll definitely get him mounted. He actually looks kind of like a, a reddish-brown color, I guess, but let's pick him up. And a, oh my god! That's my biggest mouflon ever! 172.9! Holy, that's an absolute giant. And what an awesome shot. Double lung at 90 yards away as he was quartering away. A 172.9. Holy.
So as we're heading to the next spot, I want to show you where we just got that giant Mouflon from. We're over here by the Mirador de Don Amila, and there's an outpost here, the Fuerte de Pascal. And we started right here at this tent. We actually took down a bunch of Basidi Ibex here to clear some honey pressure with 300 Magnum. Walked up over this ridge top, and he was sitting right here. Well, he was actually bedded right here at about 11 o'clock in the morning. Hold up, we got some more coming out here. We got a decent level 3 there and another level 3. I thought I saw right there is a max weight ram. About 230 yards out. Let's get on him. We have the 6.5. Perfect heart shot. He is down right there. That was kind of a tough shot too. I'll have to walk at about uh, 215 out probably. I want to see that other one real quick. It was actually a really big level 3. Okay, well, we got the big one then. And here's our move line down right here. Let's pick him up. That's going to be a 155, a perfect hard shot, walking at 219 yards out. A solid, solid ram as well. Now, the best part is all three of these spots that we went to so far are not any of the spots that I planned on going today, but they turned out to be really, really good. Now, we can finally head over to the spot that I initially wanted to go. All right, we're finally heading to the spot that I wanted to go to in the very beginning, and we're going to check the hunting pressure right now. If you look right here, you can see the hunting pressure is almost completely gone. That's going to be a huge level four right there. I can already see it from here. Yeah, it definitely is. That's a max weight mouflon right there. And another one in the middle. What's that one? Level three. Okay, let's get on this big level four right out here, which is right there. 220 yards out. We're going to try and double up here. Well, that didn't exactly work how I wanted it to, but hold up, hold up. We might get a second. Oh, I could have had that shot too. Oh, and another max weight ram just came over here at about 320 yards out. So there's definitely two max weight rams, but that level three is actually kind of a guaranteed goal potential as well. So I think we'll go over here. We'll pick up our Southeastern Spanish Ibex and then try and get a little bit closer to take a nice shot on both of these max weight rams out here. That one right there and then the one right there. But first, let's grab our Southeastern Spanish Ibex right here. And that's going to be an 87.20 gold left lung liver stomach shot at 216. Is that a melanistic mouflon? That is a melanistic mouflon. Check that out. I've never seen one of these before. Maybe I've seen a female, but I've never seen a ram. And what size is he? It's a solid one. It's actually a goal potential. 120 to 144. I think like 142 is gold. So we got three really cool things here that we want to get. And uh, we're going to have to make up our mind here pretty quick because they're not going to stick around for too long. What do we take first? What do we take second? And what do we take third? We'll go for the Melanistic first, and then we'll go for the Mouflon second. Well, I guess they're both Mouflon, but I meant we'll go for the Melanistic first, and then the Gold Mouflon second. I think we got it. I think we got it. We definitely smoked the Melanistic for sure. He's not going anywhere. But the big Mouflon... We got another one right there. We might be able to get that thing as well. Oh, I think we made an awesome shot. Might have hit a little far back, but that should have caught liver. Well, because I don't want to lose any zones over here, we're going to go over here and pick up our Melanistic and try and track down that huge Mouflon. If we don't see him right here, we might actually track him down. And he's probably going to bed somewhere up there, so I'm really not too worried about where he went. But uh, anyways, we'll go over there in a second, and let's check out this rare Melanistic. Well, I think it's a Melanistic. Mouflon. Whatever it is, it's piled up right here, and let's take a look. It is definitely going to be a Melanistic. That's really cool. A nice ram and a melanistic. Let's take a really cool picture of that, actually. Just like that. And let's pick it up. That's a 142 silver melanistic. He actually almost made gold. Right lung shot at 165 yards out. But that is our first ram melanistic mouflon. And I see something piled up over here. So we might not have made a bad of a shot as I thought. Because what else would have piled up right here? Um, I see something piled up. What the heck is going on here? You guys saw everything that I shot at and uh, Well, I guess we'll pick it up and find out. Okay, that was a 155 and we hit him 
Oh man, we let him just barely a little bit too much. Hit him right in that front shoulder at 200 yards out, but at least it did take him down. And that's a max weight ram. So hopefully something a little bigger comes back next time. But what is this now? What is this? Is this the... Uh the other level four. Oh man, we got a little bit robbed on that. I am not gonna lie. We probably should have caught the back of the lung and deliver from that shot right there. We definitely got a little bit robbed, but uh, it does happen. And a 158 is a massive move on. And there's the other max weight Ram right there at about 150. Let's see if we can't get on him. Oh man, I had it right where I wanted it, but I don't know if we went through that brush. He was in some pretty thick brush. Oh, we definitely did. We definitely did. That must have been an incredible shot. We put it right through that brush there at about 150, wide open on the run. And I think it was an awesome shot because we got hunting pressure. I am pretty sure we went right through this tree right here and connected on that massive ram as he was running right about here somewhere. Right here, as a matter of fact, a vital hit. And there he lays right there. I cannot believe we we're able to go right through that brush and connect on this massive 145 gold ram. We double lunged him at 140 yards out and just smoked that ram. Now there's a good ram. That's a huge ram out there. 315 yards out. And we might actually have to take a 300 yard shot in this case here because if we get any closer, we're not going to be able to see over the top of this hill here. So we're going to hold for the front shoulder with the 6.5 and we're going to have to be spot on here. Otherwise... It's not going to connect. Ooh. That's a huge mythical. And another huge mythical. Two giant, giant mythical red deer out there. 300 yards out. And all we have is a 6.5 to take the shot. And it just started downpouring, of course. You can probably barely hear me, but... Anyways, I think we definitely got our ram and he ran over there and the red deer should be over there as well We'll go check that out in a second But right now I want to try and double up on both these huge mythicals out here at about 300 yards exactly They're perfectly perfectly broadside. So I don't want to pass up this opportunity Oh the second one just bolted First one, we absolutely just smoked, but the second one bolted on us, and that's him right there. Oh, uh, there he is. I see him. About 290, if we hold for the heart. Should have been perfect. I see him running. So, we'll go over here now and try and find that first Mouflon. I know we took a shot at that red deer that was standing, like, right here right here in fact there he is piled up right here let's take a look at him this is going to be a really solid move full on 316 yard 154 left lung liver shot that's actually a really good penetration with the 6.5 316 yards out that is where we hit one of our mythicals and it looks like he ran off this way we should be able to track him down pretty good here in fact, here he is down right here. Let's pick him up. And that's going to be a 210 gold mythical. We double lunged him at 312 yards with the 6.5. And talk about an absolute perfect shot placement with that 6.5 right on the money and right behind that front shoulder on a massive stag. I'm actually quite impressed. A red deer is a pretty solid animal. And the fact that we were able to get double lung at 300 yards with that 6.5 is pretty incredible. Okay, so this guy was really, really difficult to find blood, and I actually had to turn the tracks on. So I'm thinking we only got a single lung. But either way, here he is down right here. Let's take a look at this massive mythical as well. And I kind of want to find out where we did hit him. Uh, we might be able to get kind of a cool picture from this angle here, because the way he did go down is not a bad position. Right like that, right there. In fact, maybe we'll turn on our light here and take kind of a screenshot of this, because... It's a little bit dark right there. All right, I uh, don't mind that at all. And let's pick him up and see. That's a giant mythical, a 223 scoring mythical. We ended up getting a single lung hit, 304 yards. Okay, so we actually nicked that shoulder bleed and it kind of slowed us down a little bit and prevented us from getting a double lung shot, but still an awesome shot and a giant mythical stag at 304 yards with a 6.5 as well. Proving us time and time again that it is an absolute sniper of a rifle in Call of the Wild.
If you want to know where we hunted at the end of the day today, I'll show you right now. We're on the very south end of the map here, and we're by the Vista de Santo. I have a tent set up right here, and the Mouflon and all the um, southeastern Spanish Ibex are all right over here at about 8 o'clock in the morning. So here's where those two giant mythicals were at, in case you're wondering. We're over here on the south, south end of the map, over here by the Cresta Ribera. And uh, I basically came in from this outpost right here. And what's good about this spot is you can just run 300 yards this way. And once you get to here, you can cover this whole little lake right here. We took down the first uh, mouflon that we shot right here. And we took down both mythical stags right here at about 7 o'clock in the morning. So I thought we head back to our trophy lodge here and we're taking a look at our giant 172.9 scoring mouflon we took with the 6.5 and this is the biggest mouflon I've ever gotten to date. Besides the fact that we could have had a diamond the other day, it probably would have been way bigger than this. But anyways, this is our biggest one so far. Well, today we also got this, a rare melanistic mouflon and he was almost big enough to make gold. But either way, that thing looks pretty incredible to me. I want to take a really cool picture of this. All right, that's going to look really cool right there. And that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.